Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are continuing the advanced series of Portal Stories Mel, and figuring out the differences between the story mode and advanced mode. That last chamber actually was pretty interesting, I liked it. Some- one of the chambers is, is still broken in advanced mode, but so far all my complaints with story mode have been fixed, so we'll- we'll see if that trend continues. Okay, so, it looks like in story mode the cube comes pre-coded, and now we just have to code it ourselves. Oop, that's... <laughs> Man, that is not a bug with Portal Stories, no, that is a bug with Portal itself. And I don't like that bug. Okay, we'll see what's different about this. So far, not too much. Where did the cube end up? There? Uh, hello? There it is. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. How about we leave this here for a moment? Is that still a thing? Okay, well first of all, let's- let's see if we can try and do this the intended way, cause last time... I, uh... I- I bugged this out and did it the wrong way. So, wait, what is the point of that, though? What about if we put it there? Hmm. I wonder... Okay, so we do that, right? And then we bug ourselves into here. Nope, nope, nope. Let me in, please. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we totally still do this the buggy way. <laughs> Not really sure what was supposed to be different about that, but, you know. I don't, know, I don't even know if that's the intended solution, but whatever. <laughs> Oops, I bumped the microphone. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh, that's deadly now. I remember this one actually being kind of tricky as it was already. So, with this being deadly... Interesting. Okay, so this looks the same so far. And our cube is... here. Ooh. This is different. It's up here now. Ooh. Doesn't that just make it easier, though? Okay, where did we want to aim this at?
Okay, let's consider what we want to do here. Okay, so the cube dropper puts it... out of our reach, basically. here. So we know how to get out of here, but the question is keeping the laser when we get out. so we can't move it over at all. We literally cannot get the cube up here. Yeah, because that turns on that Emancipation Grill. What if we put this... Well, no, because there's nothing else at the same height level. I mean, I guess we could try and do something... uh... nonsensical. Hmm... That's... That might... kinda work. Let's see if we can get that to kinda work. How close are we? Oh, that's actually really close. Aha! Who even knows? <laughs> okay, so now we've got the cube and the laser. And this should be pretty simple from here on out. Oh, that scared me. I thought I touched the... Let's move this... Uh... There. I thought I... Oops, stop bumping that, please. I thought I had touched this and cleared my portals, that would've made me angry. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. So I think now this test is mostly the same as before, except, obviously, that. How does one disable that? Let's get this other cube in here, too. Okay, so we get- we get a cube in here the same way, basically. I'm gonna use this cube, because this one was hard to get, and I don't have to do that again. Does that also reverse? No, right, I have to shoot that to get it to come into me. Oh, nope, missed it. <laughs> I gotta shoot it first, I guess. Uh, now we need to actually get the cube out of there. I could, could just call a new cube, but I'm already halfway here, so... Okay... Actually, it's not gonna be close enough. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so, first we do that, and then that. Yeah, here we go. This'll work. K, 
Okay, it saved my game when that happened, so we're obviously doing something right. So now... Don't we just need to do this? Whoa. Did my game lag in the same place again? That's weird. Hmm. It seems that thing is using some biological tracking to find out where you are. Get into the elevator to the next test. I'll need a little bit more time to get us removed from the system. You remember that, Ethan? Did that bring back memories to you? I don't even know if I did the laser thing the right way. Probably not. <laughs> but it worked, so... <laughs> yeah. But I will insist on breaking these levels because they need to know that these levels are broken. <laughs> Okay, we're a third of the way through the episode, so we still got a good, decent chunk of levels left to do this episode. Oh, by the way, be in the clear for a little bit, but somehow I can't get access to the final target, or even learn what it is. Whatever it is, it's enough to cause this thing to blow up the toxic goo pump control down in the salt mines. Activating I just tripped an alarm in that thing's mainframe. <laughs> Uh, it's completely locked me out. Firewall, huh? Fire... wall. That just gave me an idea. I I'm going to reroute some of the water to the A servers. That should shut the firewall down. Target one organic, one mechanical, reacquired for termination. Security measures at 75%. Alert status, red. Toxins from testing track Lima Whiskey. Contact with Richmond Center, sub basement, level 10. Flooding procedures commencing. Okay, so what I was going to say is that after my playthrough, I noticed you see the uh, Mel's gun, portal gun here? It's got a paper clip on it. And that's something I didn't notice in my initial playthrough. I only noticed it uh, watching my videos back later. It's got a little paper clip on it. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's definitely respawning, that's good to know. Thank you. So yeah, this has a laser in it now. Which is interesting. What causes this panel to fold away, I wonder? I think it probably just stays there. Hmm. Oh, You're gonna be like that, huh? Let's not burn ourselves, though. <laughs> That's funny. Well, okay then. <laughs> it just stays that way. So, now we are good to go. Don't think we ever have to break that beam. And, uh... We need to get up there. So, yeah. Now it's just a matter of doing things the same way we've always done them. So we'll do that. And now that we've done that, we can do that. Get this guy. Almost placed the wrong portal for a moment there. And, uh... Ooh, we need the laser in here too, huh? Well then, I know what we're doing. Actually, let's leave this here for a moment, Beam. Because we'll want to put a portal there, and a portal here. And we will need this to break the beam. Oh wait, it didn't finish breaking the beam long enough. Let's try that again. 
There we go. Ta-da! That wasn't too hard. I actually like that better than the way the test was originally. Oh. <laughs> I always forget that that happens. Well, let's... Let's do this, shall we? Mel? Are you alright? I should be able to get you back into the testing track. Let me open these for you. There we go. Uh, <laughs> well, with the okay, how is this guy gonna be different? I think he'll have a much harder time tracking our movements. I'm working on getting control of the elevators. So just hold on, get through this test, and I'll get you out of here. I think I noticed while playing this... Uh, replaying it, actually, for, for the Breaking series, was, uh... I thought at one point you could see an elevator actually going through here. So we'll look out for that. Okay, so. Let's put the cube on the button, and we'll get the heck out of Dodge. Really? Really? <laughs> <coughs> wow. Okay, well... I guess that's my fault for putting the cube on the very edge of the button. <laughs> Stay... Okay, I think it's gonna stay this time. I have to admit, that was very funny. <laughs> okay. Let me pick up the cube, please. Thank you. Okay. We went that. And... That. And we take this cube off temporarily. Let's get this. So far this is looking... looking to be the same. This looks... this looks like it's the same. Well, I guess that's okay with me. Okay, so... If this is the same, we should be able to... Yeah. Like that. Okay, so I guess this is the same then. What was making that noise, though, with the I motors? Got some control again. There's another lift transfer down below. Hold on. Activating the elevator... Now! Elevator car, 77. Testing track, direction compromised. Alert status. 100%. Rerouting remaining servers to biological tracking. Target lost. Rerouting the elevator worked. That got its attention. Don't expect this to get any easier now. Keep going. There's an easy test track up ahead. Maybe you can gain some ground on it. Okay, so. That didn't seem to be any different in advanced mode, so... Oh well. But it didn't have any exploits either that I noticed, so... It's- it's fine. I guess that one was just to find the way it was. <laughs> so, you can handle a lot- <laughs> Move the button. Tests. 
This is a brand new introduction track designed for new test subjects. You should do this really quickly. I've got a plan. Mel, over here. Um, change of plans. I found a panel that I can move out of the way. Portal down to that catwalk in the distance. I'll tell you more there. So, I was thinking, if this computer has scanners searching for biological substances, maybe there can be some interference? You know, with... all right, listen. I was able to come on down to that system and run a basic diagnostic before I got booted. The computer is known as the Aperture Employee Guardian and Intrusion System, or Aegis for short. It looks to be a security mainframe trying to protect the scientists logged into its system. It hasn't been turned on in decades. Maybe that's why it's after us and and whatever that laugh threat is. Maybe it thinks we killed the scientists. <laughs> I didn't get to show this before, but yeah, you can get the elevator stuck. <laughs> Okay, let's do the usual. Alright, I finally got access to some schematics of this place. I can guide you to that overgrown testing track now to cover our tracks. Head through the corridor to the left. Should take you through the work in progress test chambers. I wonder if we can get the, the dialogue bug this time. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, why on earth is it always such a problem to get from point A to point B when you're outside of the testing tracks? That red laser on the wall seems to be controlling that door. You should probably find a way to block it. So can we still just jump across this? Let's try. Yeah, you can totally still just jump across this. I have no idea right. why that's a thing. Through there is a crappy backstock chamber GLaDOS was designing before. GLaDOS, he said GLaDOS, guys. But it should at least be working. I have no idea what that's all about. Okay, how is this guy different? Looks mostly the same to me. Yeah, this looks to be mostly the same. I wonder if I can shoot over the the grill this time. Yeah, like a pro. Okay. Yes! Yes! We well, got the dialogue bug. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I was trying to figure out if there's a way to skip over this happening. Can always... try. Oops, 
That would totally work. Give me a moment. Um... Almost went too close there. Oh, so close. I can definitely do that, though. Yeah, yeah, we did it! Awesome. Oh wait, but that's a laser wall. Oh well. Oh well, I'll stop trying to break the game. <laughs> I just wanted to try and break the game. Oops, come on. Maybe I actually did break the game. <laughs> How do I get out of here now without... Well, I guess I could just take those guys with me. Ah, uh, well... Let's see, so we want this to go here in that case. Yeah, that'll work, whatever. <laughs> Maybe you can find a way back to the test chamber to worry He's saying it again! The observation room. <laughs> if that is blocked as well... There could be something useful in there. He's still trying to get me to go back. Yes. Opening panels near biological target. Error. Error. Big bottom detected. Subroutines unable to control. You touched a bullet on that one. I told you to be careful. Next Why time is he yelling at me? So forgiving. I don't like how Virgil yells at me there, that's like, kinda mean. So yeah, this is the same, apparently, no matter whether you play advanced or regular, so... Not much different here. Can we still do this? Yeah, yeah! We can totally still do it. There we go. I don't know if I ever showed you what happens when you go in there. Basically, it just takes you down to a fiery pit and kills you. Not that interesting. Oh yeah, the trick that I did with, with this thing of getting in there... Speedrunners actually do use it in their speedruns, so... I'm behind the curve. But yeah, you can totally shoot from here. Uh, in a speedrun, I thought I saw them shoot... up. Oh, I bet that's what they shot. Yep, that's what they shot. Oh, where did I land? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no! I trapped myself! And no! <laughs> oh well. Oops. Oop, oop, oop. Come on. <laughs> I trapped myself. Okay, guys, well, in the next episode, we'll get to see how the... the valve stab is different. If it even is different at all. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you then.